With many survival horror fans finding themselves less than satisfied with the latest Dead Space and Resident Evil installments, there's been a lot of talk over whether the genre is slowly being replaced by action horror. Fortunately, where AAA developers seem to be trying to appeal to a mass market and trading survival horror for action horror, indie devs are well and truly picking up the slack. So where do survival horror fans go to find a pure horror experience in 2013? We've got you covered. The most obvious choice and impending release for horror fans who are looking for less shooting and more running scared and potentially weeping is Amnesia, a machine for pigs, due out in the middle of this year. The combination of Frictional's clever horror storytelling and the Chinese room's strong grasp on environmental design has the potential to reduce the most stoic of gamers to this. Ah, 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 please fuck off, leave me alone! Oh, fucking save me! Oh no! Oh god! If June feels just a little too far away, you can grab the full version of Slender the Arrival out now. After the success of Slender the Eight Pages, which you can play for free, Parsec Productions and Blue Island Studios revamped the game into a fully-fledged terrifying release. This time, you can explore multiple locations and an episodic narrative if Slender alone just wasn't enough fear for your buck. If you're after something different, keep an eye on Unreal Engine 4 powered Daylight. Zombie Studios gathers some inspiration from the Fatal Frame series as the protagonist decides to face a ghost-infested hospital head-on and tackle some good old-fashioned exorcism. You're unlikely to find much solace in this game world where events and object placement are random as are the ghosts that surround them. Krill Bites Among the Sleep takes the vulnerable protagonist angle and runs with it as it casts the player in the very small shoes of a two-year-old child. This one won't be on the cards until 2014 after a Kickstarter which has been recently announced, but the clever sound design and ultimate helplessness of the protagonist make this one to watch. If you want to trade a haunted house for an entire mental institution, check out Senscape's Asylum, inspired by H.P. Lovecraft's work. The Argentinian game, which was also nudged forward by a successful Kickstarter, is due out around Halloween. If you like to keep your survival horror experiences tightly locked in assorted madhouses, then Dementium 2 is due for release on PC and Mac after its original release on Nintendo DS. The graphics won't leave you breathless, and while there is the addition of weapons, the chilling story and main objective to get out alive will keep the fear alive for gamers. While indie games have the handle on survival horror at the moment, some of these are just a little more off the wall than others, namely Memory of a Broken Dimension. Ezra Hansen White's creation is not an obvious inclusion on this list, but we thought the stark grayscale world and unique eerie atmosphere was well worth a look for players who enjoy psychological horror. If you like your survival horror with a heavy dose, and I mean heavy dose, of Cabin in the Woods, then Until Dawn is the game for you. Featuring multiple characters who go from getting it on to getting murdered in 60 seconds, the player is encouraged to explore and defend the eight characters through the Night of Terror. The PlayStation title created by indie developer Supermassive Games is optimized for PlayStation Move and will be out this year. If Earth isn't freaking you out like it used to, then Lunar Software's routine is hoping to have you shaking in your space boots as you attempt to recover enough data to clue you into what happened to everyone stationed at the now abandoned Lunar Research Station. You get to run, hide, and experience the one true terror that haunts every gamer, permadeath. While it only exists in concept form thus far, Resident Evil creator Shinji Mikami has announced his new title Zvi, quoting, I found my focus and once again I'm striving for pure survival horror. Time will tell if Mikami really heads back to his roots. A must play for survival horror fans this year has to be Red Barrel's Outlast, which spent the last month scaring the pants off of people at PAX. Although the title adopts the typical insane asylum setup, your weaponless, useless writer of a protagonist will keep you running down corridors and cowering under beds to keep his hide away from the horrors housed within the Mount Massive Asylum. If you're a fan of survival horror who feels a little burned by what AAA devs have been pumping out and calling real horror over the last few years, then at least a few of these indie games should satisfy you, or at the very least give you a few more options. Which of these games are you most looking forward to? Did we miss any of your most anticipated games? Let us know in the comments down below. Join us for our weekly House of Horrors stream and stay tuned to GameSpot.